Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to use the flash button component toggle functionality. In fact, let me show you a published preview first by hitting control enter on my keyboard guys. So here goes control enter to generate the swift file and guys as you can see we have a photo slideshow going on. Uh, it's an automatic uh, photo slideshow. Okay. Uh, we are advancing to the next image or the next picture after one single second and you see there's a button out here uh, which displays the label pause the moment I click on that you can actually see that the label changes from a pause to a play and uh, the slideshow actually comes to a pause and when I hit the play button guys you can actually see that it resumes playing again so basically this uh, button component out here below the pictures is actually displaying the uh, toggle functionality now how to evoke and use the toggle functionality is what this tutorial is all about alright uh, guys if I click on this button out here you can see in the component parameters that uh, the label has been set to pause and the toggle functionality has been set on and if I take you through the uh, action script we have uh, less than 10 lines of script out here so basically let's let's do this project all over again and see how we can actually use the toggle functionality in flash and action script 3 right so let me say a file on a new guys uh, choose action script 3 say ok right let me drop the size of the stage let's say to uh, uh, 350 by 350 Alright, at the same time, let me also change the color of the stage to a pound sign triple three triple three. Cool. Alright. On layer number one, guys, uh, let, let me re rename layer number one. Let me call it images. After which, guys, let me bring in uh, three pictures. Let me save it first. Let me say file and a save. Alright. And uh, let me save it under the name. Uh, toggle button right and let me get in uh, three pictures I'm gonna say file import import the stage guys and uh, one two and three these are the three pictures in question that would in fact let me just uh, click on pick one and uh, pick two and pick three will get imported automatically as we'll soon see let me say open Flash uh, says that the file appears to be a sequence of images. Do you want to import all of the images in the sequence? Which is pick 2 and pick 3 as well. I'll say yes. All are PNG images. And you can see they tuck themselves in the uh, top left corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to frame number 1. I'm going to click on the first image. I'm going to go open the alliance tool. And I'm going to make sure it's uh, aligned itself horizontally. And I go to the next frame you see I'm gonna make sure it's aligned itself horizontally in the center like with, uh, with the third picture as well okay let me go back to the first frame let me insert one more layer guys let me call this layer button or let me call it button component right and on uh, frame number one guys let me pull up a button component let me click this icon let me pull out a button component let me place it under the picture all right then let me go to the lines panel and make sure that it's aligned uh, horizontally in the center let me also uh, decrease the size of the uh, decrease the height of the stage all right this much is good enough right okay now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the label i'm going to change the i'm going to go to the component parameters i'm going to call it pause okay and very very important guys that I set the toggle functionality on alright toggle functionality on right see when I set the toggle functionality on and if I hit control enter to test right now you see when I uh, click the, the the button once it is in the selected state the moment I click it once again it goes to the non selected state so once it's selected once it is not selected and when it is not selected guys it's actually uh, it appears somewhat in the 3d you see uh, and if I if I click and it actually becomes selected it gets pushed in 
you know the change is very subtle the button is darker as well when it's in the selected state and when it is not in the selected state it kind of appears um, you know above the surface it's it's kind of in a 3d you know a subtle c 3d effect guys right so the toggle functionality is between the selected and the not selected state cool and guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one more layer okay this layer i'm going to call as3 because this will be hosting the access put okay so as far as the uh, preparation uh, on the timeline it's actually done except that i would want to separate the images by 24 frames each so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the third picture click on it and click once again and i'm going to drag it i'm going to leave it on frame number 48 okay as far as the second picture is concerned guys i'm going to click and drag it i'm going to leave it on frame number 24 okay i'm going to come to frame number 72 guys i'm going to press f5 to insert a frame out here okay i'm going to be on this i'm going to select the 72nd frame like this for the AS3 in the button layer and press F5 to extend the frames alright so as you can see guys the first picture the second picture and the third picture are actually separated by 24 frames each uh, what will happen now is if I hit control enter to test you can see that uh, it actually becomes an image slideshow and the next image actually appears after one single second that was the reason I actually had to uh, separate the images by 24 frames each because uh, the playhead runs on the timeline uh, 24 uh, you know 24 times in one single second the frame rate is uh, you know 24 frames per second 24 FPS uh, you can see out here that the default FPS is 24 the playhead covers 24 frames in one single second right now that all the preparation is ready I just need to code so coding time guys uh, the best of all the times I know I'm being a little sarcastic so let me code now let me start coding right uh, before I actually code guys I actually forgot to give it an instance name I need to select the button and uh, let me call it uh, in fact let me call it uh, toggle button right let me copy it up let me go to the actions and uh, yeah let me start coding guys so to the toggle button guys I'm gonna add an event listener so add event listener and event dot change so basically when the toggle functionality changes I wish to run a function called play pause that's it right and which means that I need to define the function play pause I need to say function so the function keyword function play underscore pause uh, event colon event passing the events in the parents that's the format colon void and inside the opening of the curly bracket you know closing curly braces I need to define the function the first thing that I'll do is I'll use a an if condition I need to say if this then do this so basically if um, toggle button which is the instance name of the button dot selected basically if somebody clicks on it it's in the selected state guys is equal to is equal to true if you know if somebody clicks on the button and it actually goes in the selected state guys then I would want uh, the slideshow to come to an end so basically I would want to stop the slideshow so I'm using the stop parent parent method okay after which guys I need to change the label as well so I need to say toggle button dot label is equal to and I need to give the label in inverted quotes very important guys play right else now let me say else out here else if uh, toggle button dot selected is not true then I need to let me have uh, another opening and closing uh, braces and inside which I need to write play 
Perrin Perrin to basically play the you know start playing the player once again resume the player once again if it, it if it has actually stopped and change the label once again so that's a toggle button dot label and is equal to pause this time in inverted quotes all right so I think I'm pretty much done let me save the file once again okay uh, before I test uh, let me explain uh, the script all over again basically guys you see when you give a function the toggle functionality it's a button component that I've given a you know a toggle functionality basically once you do that guys uh, once you hit it uh, the first time it goes into the selected state you hit it again it comes off the selected state once it is in the selected state the button is actually uh, you know there's a subtle change it, it becomes a little darker all right and it kind of depresses just a little bit it's kind of flatter but when uh, when it's not in the selected state guys it's actually in the 3d effect you know it's slightly uh, slightly concave and uh, it's a shade lighter as well it's not so dark right and um, so what i'm doing out here is whenever the ch you know the state changes from a selected to a, n a not selected state i would want the the slideshow to pause as well as resume playing through the stop parent parent and the play parent parent method and i'm changing the label as well whenever the functionality is getting toggled between the play and the pause states right so i'm going to hit control enter to test let's hope everything is fine no compiler errors let's hope so control enter okay so at least there are no compiler errors uh, and it's going from the first to the second second to the third picture back to the first picture then to the second and the third and it's going in an endless loop guys now let me hit the button okay the moment i hit the button guys you can actually see that it's in the selected state the label changes from a pause to a play okay L and uh, the slideshow comes to a halt if i play, you know hit the play button this time it, it comes off the selected state and the uh, slideshow resumes goes on to the next picture so on and on and on All right so let's try hitting it a few times that's a play that's a resume play and a resume cool so guys uh, as you can see the uh, button component toggle functionality is working to perfection it's a very small script guys uh, barely 10 lines of uh, action script 3 so guys, I hope you like this tutorial, learn something from it, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial. You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.